In this video, we will see a treatment done to this male elephant who has fallen victim to a trap gun set for wild boars in the forest and has gotten injured. His left front leg is swollen and there is an abscess on the other side. He seems to have injuries all over his body caused by bullet particles which are slowly turning into abscesses. This injury must have happened in the forest, but the elephant has managed to limp all the way to the village. He seems calm, just lingering nearby and holding vigil. He is not skittish, unlike most other wild elephants. This is how these intelligent animals ask for help. Some kind villager will then inform the wildlife officers. As mentioned earlier, this is an injury caused by a trap gun. Trap guns are locally made shotguns with a victim activated simple trigger mechanism. These are illegal, but it is mainly used for bushmeat hunting and to protect crops and livestock from the potential harm by wild animals. The wildlife team's first task is to sedate the elephant. Sedation is needed because these are dangerous wild elephants and it's difficult to treat a standing injured wild elephant otherwise. The sedative drug is prepared after observing the elephant. Dosage is determined according to its body weight. After carefully observing the elephant, the veterinarian can estimate the elephant's body weight and prepare the medicine accordingly. If overdosed, the elephant could fall down or even die. If underdosed, the elephant may not be sufficiently sedated to administer medicine. The sedative is loaded into the blowpipe of the tranquilizer gun, or the dart gun, and it is shot at the elephant. This is a gentle and virtually silent way to deliver sedatives or anesthesia to animals to minimize their agitation. As soon as the dart is felt by the elephant, he turns towards the people and starts charging after them, assuming it's danger. However, soon the elephant is sedated and the rescue team can approach the elephant safely.
Now, the antibiotics and multivitamins are administered intramuscularly on the top part of the rear leg. These medicines will boost his immunity to fight against infections and expedite the healing of wounds. The wounds are being cleaned, and the veterinarian makes a povidone iodine solution to be sprayed on the wounds. Antibiotics are sprayed on the abscess and other injuries on the body. Finally, a revival drug is given to reverse the effects of the tranquilizer. The elephant slowly moves towards the forest. When the next dose is due, the wildlife team will find him for further treatment.